hi everyone welcome to my channel hope you're doing well if you're new welcome and if you're revisiting thanks for stopping by again so today i'm going to be showing you a demo of how the makeup revolution um, or at least the new revolution pro foundation drops work or how they apply on my skin um, i'm also going to be doing a wear test um probably for close to 12 hours because i'm this is quite early in the morning and i'm going to work so by the time I come back, hopefully it should have been about 12 hours and we're going to see how it wears throughout the day. So this foundation is meant to be a sheer to medium coverage and it looks like this by the way. Um, so there's 18 mils in this and it retails for £7, just like the full camouflage um, foundation in a tube. So they launched two foundations, so there's a full coverage one and then there's the, there's this one and this one is I think it's supposed to be water based. Um, I'll leave all the description, I'll leave the information in the description box um, just to be sure, just make sure I don't give you anything, any wrong information. It comes in 18 shades and I think for kind of medium skin tones like myself, um, there are kind of maybe two, three options. So there's F11, F12 and F13 and then F14 onwards is actually quite dark in my opinion. So there aren't that many um, kind of medium skin tone type shades. Ironically, there's quite a lot of dark shades, quite a lot of light shades. Um, so it's probably the same thing. So it basically, it's the same criticism I had with the Fast Base Stick Foundation. And it follows through right through, through to the Camouflage Foundation and also to this. So it's meant to be sheer to medium coverage apparently and water-based. Um, I'm also going to be trying out the Camouflage uh, found foundation the camouflage concealer um, I've got the setting spray I'm going to be applying one side of my face with the brush and I'm also going to be applying one side of my face with the brush works sponge so I'm going to put so the dropper looks like this and you do only get 18 mils for this compared for the seven pounds that you pay for this compared to the 25 mls you get with the camouflage foundation and comparing that to the 30 mls you get with the normal um, foundation so yeah so it's a little bit more pricey for what it is um, I'm just gonna see how I've already shaped I'm just shake it on camera so I've already moisturized and primed my face so I'm just gonna apply a few drops and take it from there hopefully I won't get this all over my clothes As you can see, it is liquidy, but it isn't too runny. So I've lost count of how many drops I put there. Maybe when I watch back the video, I'll count. Um, so I'm just going to apply this to one side of my face. The color I'm in is F13 in the fast base foundation stick and also in the camouflage foundation so when i swatched this next to the camouflage foundation f13 this looked a bit more red um and i think it's coming across red so if you see my face it has a bit of a yellow undertone or slightly golden this looks a bit a bit red but this can all be corrected with powder and concealer um, it applies really really nicely it di disappears into my skin which is what you expect for a quite runny foundation like this especially if it's meant to be water based as well um, this doesn't claim to have any SPF in it so uh, yeah there is no protection for your skin I suppose for seven pounds they probably could have squeezed it in but again you know it's a cheap cheap foundation so you get what you pay for but hopefully it will wear throughout the day. Um, so some of the problems I have with foundation is that, um, or at least the main problem I have with foundation, um, is that it sinks into my smile lines here. So I'm just gonna apply a bit more. It looks like the sponge is soaking up a lot of products more than I'm used to. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't apply this kind of foundation with the sponge because it's already water based, it's already quite light, it's already a sheer type of foundation and then a sponge is just going to soak it all up. So I definitely recommend a brush.
as you can see my scars are still peeking through so this is a bit of a close up it's not necessarily dewy on camera um, it looks a bit more dewy than it is in person it looks like it's just slightly dewy a bit more than a natural finish okay so my battery camera died and I'm just gonna apply um, the rest of my face and then come back later on and show you what the foundation looks like and how it wears okay so this is what my face looks like now it's my finished face and I'll come back later on Hi everyone, so I am back after a long day's work and this is what my face looks like. So as you can see, it's very, very dewy and shiny and yes, it's very shiny indeed. I actually had to blot, I normally never blot, I never touch my face, but I had to blot I think about halfway through. So about the six to seven hour mark, I had to blot my face. Um, yeah, so it was quite dewy. But in terms of the coverage and how it's worn, it's worn so well. I feel like it's melted into my skin. Um, with the rest of my, basically I feel like the foundation is melted into my skin and it's blended really well. I'm just looking at myself in the camera. Um, I don't remember ever being this oily ever. So I think this foundation is definitely not one for those with an, uh, with an oily face. And I did use a primer as well. Um, so I'm quite baffled by this amount of sheen, shall I say. Um... Yeah, it's on the good side, it hasn't sunk into my smile lines too much and that would have looked a lot worse than what it looks like. Um, I also feel like if I was to blot um, and add a bit of powder, my face would be fine again. So from what I can see, um, it's definitely worn really well. I definitely appreciate how it's worn, but it's just not staying matte, which is the problem. But um, yeah, apart from that, I definitely like the foundation. I will keep using it, but I just know it's going to clock out early. It's not a 12 hour foundation by any means at all. Okay, so I've blotted my face and that's taken off most of the shine on the found, um, on my face. Um, yeah, so now it's back to normal again and I feel like all it needs is a bit of powder. Um, my eyebrows are particularly shiny today. Uh, I think I definitely needed, needed to powder that area, which I don't think I did this morning. But um, even with the fact that I've blotted... It hasn't taken off any of the foundation. Only a tiny bit is worn off the tip of my nose, but it's not even noticeable. So I definitely appreciate that the pigment in this foundation stays. Um, and you, as you can see, for a foundation that's supposed to be kind of light to medium coverage, it's more medium to full actually. And I didn't really apply that many drops. And I also appreciate the fact that it's not too runny. So I'm really enjoying this foundation. I just think I'm going to need a really, really mattifying primer. Uh, so that's the only thing you definitely need to do. But um, yeah, so I definitely would recommend it. Um, it's great if you have dry skin or normal skin. Uh, if you have oily or combination skin, then you definitely need a mattifying primer. But yeah, so I'm going to type out here. And if you uh, like this review, please don't forget to thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I have a lot of videos coming up. Um, yeah, so that's about it. So also share, comment down below. Let me know if you tried it, what your experience was, what type of, what your skin type is. And oh, I never mentioned the time. So the time is, what time is it? It's 7.25 now. So I put this foundation on at just around 7. So yeah, uh, just over 12 hours. Like I said, I need my foundation to last for 12 hours. So this foundation has held up really well in terms of keeping the coverage it just needs to be kind of dialed down a bit in terms of the oiliness or dewiness but yeah even for the fact that i blotted all over my face the coverage is still there and i really appreciate that so i would definitely keep using this foundation but yeah so thank you and i will see you in my next video bye